time for a new uh, tutorial, 3D Studio Max. I'm using uh, Studio Max 2011. Um, I've had a lot of emails recently about people wanting to understand how to use the wiring parameters within Max. Um, specifically, how to animate a logo, individual letters, uh, how to um, move boxes around, how to move objects around the screen uh, without having to keyframe every single uh, movement. So I'm going to do a real basic um, first tutorial on how this parameter, this wire parameter works. So let's start off with making a 2x2x2 two by two by two box. Okay. And let's affect the pivot point, center to object, and then let's center the whole box. 0, 0, 0 axis. Let's move it over a little bit. And let's shift, drag, two more. Let's grab all four of those, bring those back to the center. Okay. Now let's go up to our create panel, helpers. Let's create a dummy. Okay, let's create a dummy object right here, that big. And let's make sure that pivot point is centered. And then Let's align it X, Y, and Z at the center point to the box. And then let's drag that over and make two copies. And then let's make sure each one of those is centered to the box. Okay, now we have to attach the box to each dummy. So we'll create a link between the box and the dummy. Okay, now let's go up here to create splines. Let's just click a rectangle, drag one out. Let's zero this out, and let's pull it down. Okay, <clears throat> so if you grab this one and you rotate it, you'll see that rotation is on the Z. Okay, so let's wire this up. So we're going to right-click, Wire Parameters, Transform Rotation Z, and click there, and Transform Position X. So we want the rectangle, this rectangle, to control the dummy. So we're going to go one-way connection and connect. And we're going to do the same thing for each one of these. We're going to go transform rotation Z to transform position X. Connect. And again, our parameters, rotation Z. Z to position X, connect that, rotation Z to position X. And once it's connected, you'll see this one is green, this one's red on each one of those. Okay, one of those is not connected. Z to position X. There we go. And we'll update that. Okay, now if you grab this box and move it, you'll see how those all rotate at the same time. Okay, so <coughs> you can set your auto key here, just kind of rotate it a little bit, and go here, and rotate it back, and you can see that animation, so that's how you might be
be able to do individual letters of a logo spinning pretty quickly or setting that up pretty quickly. Um, again, this is very, very basic. I'm going to do additional tutorials showing more complicated uh, wiring parameters, but I just wanted to start off by showing you how you could uh, just get simple objects to rotate uh, with just one uh, controller, which is this. It's rotating all four boxes. Uh, and uh, So there you go. Okay, we'll start uh, in with another wire parameter tutorial in the next lesson. Thanks for watching.